So do you guys remember the whole Steam to PSN linking requirement that happened with Helldivers that set PC gamers into a massive uproar that essentially made an entire corporation within 48 hours bend the knee to their supposed requirement that they always meant for it to be happening, but unfortunately they forgot to do that for the first three months the game that came out? Well, apparently there's another situation where that happened. Earth's Defense Force number six apparently tried to make PC gamers link their Steam account to Epic Games account in order to play online, and people lost their mind, and now apparently just after a couple of days, they realize you do not try to do that with the PC community. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Earth's Defense Force 6 developers are announcing that they are now going to plan changes to the requirement to link an Epic Games account in order to play online. These PC gamers are absolutely not messing around when it comes to this stuff. And you know what? Listen, I understand that there has been, uh, you know, iterations where you have to make an account in order to play online. You don't necessarily have to link your account but you had to make an account in order to play online, right? Like Rockstar is very well known for that, obviously, where you have to make an account in order to play their games. Well, now they're requiring linking to your Steam and people are just not having it. So let's get into this article, guys, from that park place. But of course, before we do, if you are new here, just consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into that YouTube algorithm. It says, following a massive backlash, which resulted in numerous negative reviews, the developers of Earth Defense Force 6 announced that they are planning changes to the requirement to leak an Epic Games account in order to play online. Following the game's release, players discovered that the game required that an Epic Games account need to be linked to their Steam account in order to access the game's online multiplayer mode, and they were not happy with it. Only 29% of all reviews for the game were positive, and numerous individuals indicated that the requirement to link an Epic Games account was not originally published on Steam. In fact, an archive link confirmed that it was not listed on the storefront when the game released. Okay, so this was going to be my thing, right? I was going to say if it was on the store at the time that the game was sold, then that's something totally different, right? People are just not reading the requirements to play these games. They're just flat out buying them without paying attention. And then what ends up happening is people get mad once they find out that it's required. However, the fact that it is an archive linked and it is proved that it has not been on this page up until after they decided they wanted to make it a thing... Well, apparently they tried to pull a Helldivers 2 and people are not going to deal with that bullshit, right? It's one thing if you make it upfront and well known to everybody when you're purchasing the game, but it's another thing when people buy your game and then you try to sneak it in afterwards because you want that sweet, sweet data, right? That's all it's about, ladies and gentlemen. Let's be, let's be real here. They want your data because your data is going to be worth more money than anything else, right? I would even argue that your data is probably worth more than the sale of the game itself, Right? They love to sell this data to as many companies as they possibly can sell it to because it's just free money for them. It's easy money. Get your data and sell it. It says the most helpful review from Myriad noted requires a third-party account with Epic Games to play online with friends even if you only play with people who are solely on the Steam platform. There is no indication anywhere on the Steam page that this was the case before purchasing and is definitely a shady, potentially illegal business practice. The user added, considering that none of the previous titles ever required this, it boggles my mind as to why they thought this would fly, especially on a competitor platform. Edit, as of around uh, 0600 UTC6, the Steam storefront uh, was updated almost six hours after the game was officially released to reflect the requirement of needing a third-party account. Now, you can say that they simply forgot, which is not the fault of the player. You can say they were trying to be shady and get you to buy the game for the first few hours and then try to sneak it in there, which is not the fault of the player. Essentially, no matter what excuse you look for to try to justify this nonsense, none of it is at the fault of the player. This is all at the fault of the developer. They're the one that are trying to do this because they want your data. I don't know how many times I have to say it for people to understand that your data means more to them than anything else. It says the game's publisher, a D3 publisher, would initially address the requirement to link an Epic Games account writing for this game to enhance crossplay and online functionality 
Online play requires signing into your Epic Games account. We apologize for the lack of advance notice. That's that's such a bullshit cop out. All right, that is there is nothing here that is going to enhance crossplay and online functionality. The only thing it's going to do is allow them to get your data on Steam, and not only that, allow them to ban you much easier for whatever reason they feel like they need to ban you for. That's the only reason why they want to do this stuff. There is no other reason. The first one being data, being the most important one, but there is nothing else that is important to them. They don't give a shit about enhancing the crossplay online functionality. They have proven that the technology is able to do it without the linking. There's no need to link it. So again, it's just an excuse that these developers are trying to make a normal thing. They're all trying to normalize this, and Sony tried to do what Helldivers got absolutely wrecked, and now Earth Defense Force is trying to do this with this game and got absolutely wrecked. So you know what? You gotta keep wrecking them. You gotta keep making them bend the knee because otherwise they're gonna try to continue to normalize this. The company added signing into your Epic Games account is required the first time you play online. Usually, once you sign in for the first time, you would not need to sign in again. You can sign into your Epic Games account or register for an account from within the game app, or you can create an account in advance and sign in. Now, in a statement, the publisher wrote that the EDF6 development team for Steam is reviewing and planning changes to the specification that requires sign-in to Epic Games account, which has received the most feedback. At this time, we are unable to provide specifics on how much time this will take, but we will continue to work on it as we address the feedback we have received. It concluded. Well, if they're not going to change it right away, if they're not going to remove the requirement right away, this game deserves to get nuked off the face of the earth. Just straight up. If you want to review bomb it, that's up to you. But the game deserves to be nuked because they are going to try to hope that while they bide for time, right, they're going to try to make sure they get as much time as they can. They're hoping that people just bend the knee and do it just so they can play the game early. That's what they're hoping for. If they can even sneak in just slightly a little bit amount of data from people who are stupid enough to link their accounts just because they don't have any sort of self-control and they can't wait. Yeah, I, I think that's their strategy. Uh, gamers appear to be taking this statement as a win as the reviews are trending upward. According to SteamDB, 46.9% of all reviews are now positive. And over the past two days, there have been more positive reviews than negative reviews. I think that's a stupid move. I think that gamer, that's a stupid fucking move. They haven't promised you anything. They haven't told you that they're going to remove it. They just said they're looking into it. That's it. Why the fuck are you changing your review? That's stupid for you to assume that the company is going to do anything that's in your favor without actually knowing whether or not they're going to do that thing in your favor. Why would you ever give them the benefit of the doubt? I think this is extremely stupid. And it goes to show that people are just like they're finicky, right? Like they're doing everything they can. Uh, when things are actually negative, but the moment they get anything positive news, they suddenly forget all the negative shit this company has done or tried to do. I think it's dumb to let off steam. I think they realize that by simply making a statement, they can bide for time as people, you know, stupidly sign up for Epic Games, you know, link their accounts, and they're going to get as much data as they can before they eventually have to reverse the change. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.